<risa> sí. Oh, Oh, ahorita Lenin. vamos a entrar. Ya, ya. Ya, Ricky, Rafael, Daniel, Ruth, Alejandro, Hello, good evening. It is. Hey, have five people only. Okay, yeah, you know. I'm not worried. I'm not worried because it's it's a less participants. Okay, tonight is your <laughs> is your opportunity, right? To to become a rock star. <laughs> okay, no, you remember today we you are in church of presenting a, a story, right? Yeah. Yeah, but but before go, before um starting that activity, I want to um finish with the topic for this week. Okay, mm. so take it easy, take it easy because we're not gonna mm. start with that with the stories yet. Okay. Good I, evening, teacher. Hello, hello, Vicente. Good to My see you. My friend Vicente. Hello. Thank hello, you. Hello, hello. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Hello, Carla. Hello. Vicente, I win. Hello, Today Daniel. I win. <laughs> <laughs> you won, what? Daniel. Yeah, what? I won. You won. Hello. Hello, you Alejandro. Won. Hello, Brandy. <laughs> Hi, Brandy. Hello, Ruth. I was talking and I thought it was, I didn't know what's new. <laughs> <laughs> Elizabeth, welcome. Angel. Angel is, is just getting connected. <clears throat> Angel, are you there? Angel, welcome. Welcome, Alejandro. Good evening. Welcome. Good evening. Welcome, Ruth. Elizabeth, is Elise that you like the name? Elise? What is the name I use? Tell me. Elise? Ruth Elizabeth? No. <laughs> <laughs> me. Okay. Hello, teacher. Sorry. Hello, teacher. Sorry. I, I text you. Hello, Alejandro. Welcome. Good evening. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Uh, you are at court now, Alejandro? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah oh, see, okay, so... Yeah, it's difficult for me now. Okay. Yeah, sorry, I just, just listen. Okay, okay, I will take it into consideration. Please, sorry, okay? sorry, yeah, yeah. yeah. All but right. I try to keep in there. All right, very good. Okay, I have th uh, 12 people still, and still waiting for Fernando... Just got into the class. Hello, Fernando. Was Diego? Was Diego? Okay. Pretty good. Hey, you know what? Um, it happens that uh, tonight we're gonna finish with a topic in the platform. Okay, so uh, right now we're not gonna see it, but. Uh, I don't know if you have, uh, if you know how to express wishes in English. Wishes. Yeah, wish, wishes, you know, wishes. wishes. Actually, wishes. 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 Hey, you know, I have, a, I, I have, a, I have yeah. a tongue twister. I don't know if you, if you, if you have heard this tongue twister. Do you want to listen to it? Go ahead. I wish to wish that wish to wish to wish, but if the wish to wish to wish is the wish of a witch, stop. What? I don't, I don't, I don't want to wish the wish to wish what, to wish. What do you mean? Just think about it. It's a, a tongue twister. Hey, hey, what about if we assign a homework assignment about a tongue twister? <laughs> I will be really like, nice, right? We'll be really nice. Even if I even if I say in the Spanish, I almost bite my tongue. <laughs> so, but in English, it's easier. So oh, yeah. Wish to wish. Yeah. Wish to wish. Yeah. Wish to wish. Hey, somebody say uh, wish to wish to. No, it is not wish to. No, wish. Okay. No, no. It is. I wish. Wish is another thing. I wish. <laughs> I wish. I wish to wish to wish. Damn. <laughs> but if the wish you wish to wish is the wish, of a wish I, will translate. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to wish the wish to wish to wish. Okay, that's the tongue twister. You can look for it in Google, okay? So you will find it out. Okay, no, but listen, we're talking about about uh, do you want me to type the, the, the tongue twister in the chat? Yeah, please. Okay. I uh, wish to wish I I wish 
I wish to wish, the wish, you wish, to wish. But if you wish <laughs> to wish, if I wish you, <laughs> but give me one second. Yeah. And but the victim I, but is... if you wish to wish the wish, um, at which, yes, if I wish you, maybe you wish the which. I don't want to wish. I don't want to wish. Okay, it's like I don't want to wish. I don't want to wish. It's easy. I don't want to wish. The wish. You wish. She the wish. 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 Okay, hey, it would be a humble. Hey, thanks. Hey, no. Brandy, Brandy, good idea, Brandy. Good idea, Brandy. There you have it in chat. I didn't say nothing. I you said it, right? Teacher, why don't we don't we learn the tongue twister? As a humble. <laughs> good idea. I don't understand what you say. <laughs> yeah, good idea. So that will be for next week. I mean for tomorrow, maybe, right? Hey, now that you can see the the, the, the tongue twister over there. Okay. I yes, wish this. to wish the way you wish to wish, but oh. if you wish. To wish, the wish of wish done when I wish the wish you wish to wish them. <laughs> wish to wish it no, okay, <laughs> okay, people. So actually, we're gonna learn how to how to um say some how to express wishes in English, okay. So when we finish this part, you are going to tell us about the story you prepared. And why, uh, and why um, presenting the story, remember that you have to teach the vocabulary you found out. Vocabulary that you didn't, that you, you didn't know, okay? So keep it in mind. You will tell us the story and you will tell us about the vocabulary you got, the vocabulary you learned, all right? That is the activity for tonight. Uh, I think most of the time is going to be spent on that activity because you know we're gonna see uh, the, the these parts. Okay, I wonder if there is somebody who can help me to read everything over here. Yes, Brandy. Thank you, Brandy. Brandy, thank you. Okay, go Every ahead. I okay. Expressing wishes and. Uh, Desires is big part of communi communicating with friends. Learn how to express wishes that you have about your personal life. Can I continue? Sure. Career or health. This lesson for English teacher. Joe uh, Sands. Joe Sands explain who to use the verb to wish in the present tense and combining combining it, combining it with a uh, past tense verb to express wishes for example i wish i didn't live with my parents i wish have a different yo or i wish i were this lesson this lesson includes an oral language compre comprehension exercise all right okay now just for you to have thank you brandy thank You're you much. very much hey listen uh, this structure is the same as when we speak in spanish right quisiera que ahora fuera domingo es un deseo sí o no I wish to study every week. De sería que ahora fuera domingo. I Oigan wish bien. that today, I wish today, I wish today was Sunday. Where Sunday? Where? Yeah. And I will explain. Yeah, I will explain why. 
Les voy a explicar por qué where, ¿ok? En realidad el tema pues toma un poquito de tiempo, pero primero Dios, tenemos, tenemos más, más espacio de tiempo mañana, porque vamos a hacer repaso de, 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 del, del midterm, acuérdense. Pero... Tener más we... delgado. Desearía ser más delgado. Ah, ok. Yeah. I sí. wish <laughs> Vaya, y ma, vaya, ahora fíjense, solo me voy a tomar un par de minutos en español para que agarren la idea de qué sí. es lo que vamos a estudiar. Desearía eh, ser más delgado. Ok, ¿es realidad o es mentira? ¿Es, algo, ¿es algo real o es algo que no es real? Es algo que no es real. 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 Yo estoy gordito, ¿ok? Pero desearía <risa> estar delgado. Uh -huh. okay. Ahora es, ahora es a jueves. Desearía que ahora fuera domingo. ¿Es real? No. No, no. ahora es jueves. Ok, entonces eso es lo que vamos a ver. Ok, ahora. Ahora ya tienen la idea. Vamos a ver. Vamos a ver de qué se trata esto. Ok, let's see. Let's see, because we're all, I mean, this is the last topic. It's like a, a little, you know, it's, it, it is not difficult. Keep in mind that it's not difficult. And you, you have in here the verb. What is this verb, people? Use, use wish. Wish. The cell. All right. Wish. The cell. Now, the I wish, wish. Uh, I, I live, now, use wish plus past tense past to tense. refer yeah. to present wishes. Present wish. Okay, I live with my parents. I wish I didn't live with my parents. You know, we have simple past over here. Uh -huh. Okay, with my parents. Desearía no vivir con mis padres. I wish I had my own apartment. Desearía tener mi propio apartamento. Yo apartamento. Yeah. So I can't move out. I wish I could. ¿Cuál es el pasado de quién? Could. 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 Okay, este es un modal. I wish I could move out. Life is difficult. Hey, do you think life is difficult, people? Sometimes. Yeah. It is. Depends. Actually, it is difficult. But, you know, when we have the strength and the energy and if we think positively, things... Our problems can, can be it. solved. That's right. We can get it. I wish it were I wish easier. It were. it were. Y aquí sí me va a tocar pasar it un were. ratito al español si me dan permiso. Si no les explico yeah, en please. inglés. Go ahead. Please. <laughs> But, okay. Go ahead. Now, acuérdense. <laughs> el verbo be, el verbo be en pasado es was or were. ¿Sí o no? Yes. Bye. Si, yo lo yes. Empiezo, si lo empezamos a conjugar, vamos a decir I Was I you, was was you, was. you, you were, he, were he he was he was, he was, was she was was it it was was was, was, was. Hey, pero porque aquí está it were ya le voy a explicar it, it was we we, we were. Were. were you you were were, were. were. They were. Okay, they were. So now, they now, were. Now we have a, a quick review about simple past. I was, you were, he it was, she was, it was, we were, you were, and they were. Okay, but over here it says, I wish it were. Cuando vamos a decir algo que no es real, vamos a ocupar, aunque sea tercera persona, were. Okay. I wish I were. I wish you were. I wish he were. I wish she were, I wish it were, I wish we were, I wish you were, and I wish they were. All right? All the pronouns All right. with yeah, were. With where. When we are talking about wishes, and we're using simple past, okay? Because later, I think you're going to study something about uh, if clauses, okay? Uh, second condition, first conditional, second conditional, third conditional, conditional zero. And you know, I think you are going to encounter that information. And uh, well, in the second conditional statements, you are going to encounter the structures, okay? I wish it were. Okay, is that clear, people? Well, 
Is that is that clear? It's clear, but it's new for me. That's you... far. Oh, but you that's really clear. good. Now, hey, you are going to you are going to listen to uh, singers. Van a escuchar algunos cantantes o lo van o lo van a ver en algún en algún lado que algunos dicen I wish it was. Pero ya usted ya tiene que saber qué se refiere a esto. Lo correcto es where. Pero ellos, como es el idioma where. de ellos, ellos hacen con su idioma lo que consideran conveniente. Entonces, sure. tell me, Daniel. Usted dijo que eso lo utiliz se utiliza cuando algo no es real. Ya. Yeah. Uh -huh. Ya. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but in, in, keep it in mind, Daniel, keep in mind, ahorita... No, no vamos a ver eso de las, condicion de las condicionales tipo 1, 2, no, eso lo creo que lo van a ver luego, pero quedémonos solo con el verbo, cuando tengamos el verbo I wish y tengamos la estructura en pasado siempre va a ser where, ok, okay. I wish it were I wish I were, I wish you were etc, ok, let us see what's going on with the video espero que terminemos un poco eh, rápido para empezar a escuchar las, las historias, ok Everybody Hello, everyone. Will... Now, let us, let us pay attention, please. Let us pay attention. Now, you have it here. I wish I were. Now, you see, I wish I were rich. I wish I hey. were rich. Hey. ¿Quién tiene ese deseo? Yo lo tengo. I wish I were rich. Bueno, yo ya soy rico, pero en otras well, cosas. Rich. No well, hay dinero. No. I wish rich? I were rich. Not money. What kind I of wish... rich? Me what too. kind of rich? <laughs> <laughs> I wish I won the lottery. I wish I won. Oigan, ahí están creando oraciones que no están aquí, miren. I, I wish I, I won. won. Eso me encanta. The lottery. I wish I won. Ok, el pasado de win won. I wish I won the lottery. Desearía ganarme la lotería. Ok, here we go. Pay attention, please. Let us pay attention. In this class, you'll learn how to express present wishes that you have about your personal life, career, and health. For example, you'll be able to make the following expressions. I wish I didn't live with my parents. I wish I had a different job. I wish I were thinner. Before I present the material, what I would like for you to do is to listen to an audio program that illustrates how this topic is used. Your task is to listen carefully and complete some questions that I'll have for you at the end of the audio program. So, are you still living with your parents, Terry? I'm afraid so. I wish I had my own apartment. Why? Don't you like living at home? It's okay, but my parents are always asking me to be home before midnight. I wish they'd stop worrying about me. Yeah, parents are like that. And they expect me to help around the house. I hate housework. I wish life weren't so difficult. So, why don't you move out? Hey, I wish I could, but where else can I get free room and board? Yeah, it's sometimes pretty hard to pay the rent. I'm thinking of finding a new job. Really? What kind of job would you like? I'm not sure, but I wish I worked somewhere else. I'm tired of this place. I need to live somewhere more exciting. I know what you mean. Hey, maybe we could move to a different city. We could even be roommates. Yeah, uh, maybe. Now let me start by presenting the structure. The first thing that I would like to point out is that we use wish plus a past tense in order to refer to present wishes. For example, if I have a situation that is true for me, such as I live with my parents and I would like for that to be something different, that is a wish that I have. In order for me to express that idea, I will say, I wish I didn't live with my parents, or I wish I had my own apartment. Um, if I think that life is difficult, for example. Uh, I'm sorry to interrupt, but I want to be sure that you are uh, listening to the audio. Yes, it's okay, teacher. Okay. Yes, I'm listening. Uh... Okay, thanks for letting me know. Well, this is my present situation. If I want to express a wish that I have about that particular situation, then I will say, I wish life were easier, or I wish it weren't so difficult. 
let's try to make sense of the examples that are on this chart. In order for us to understand those examples, what I would like to do is I would like to propose this formula here at the bottom. And so what we want to do is we want to take certain situations that exist in our lives and then we want to express wishes about those situations. The example that is stated here is I live with my parents. I would like for that to be something different, right? And so in order for me to express that idea, I'm going to have a subject. So in this case, the subject is I, and then this is going to follow wish plus the subject again. Now, the subject could be you again, or it could be another person, right? I wish I, and then the verb in its past form. So in this case, it happens to be that it's on a negative form. So we use didn't plus live. So I wish I didn't, and then whatever compliment, right? didn't live with my parents. There we go. There we go. And as you can see, the other example is quite similar. I wish I had my own apartment. In that second example, we can see that it's no longer in its negative form. So therefore, we're going to use the verb in the past. So the example will be, I wish I had my own apartment. So this is going to be in the past. So let's try to make sense of that second example there. I can't move out. So what happens there? I can't move out. The only thing that changed was that I'm using a model verb instead of a regular verb. Um, but what you got to remember here is that the, mo the model verb can, the past of that is could. And so it's basically the same concept, right? We're going to say, I wish. And then we're going to have a subject again. I wish I. So what is the past of can? Well, we can easily could. say that it is could, right? There we go. Could. And so that's basically what we're going to put here. I wish I could. move out. Now let's try to make sense of the example, life is difficult. As you can see, the verb that we're using there is the verb to be. And something that I would like for you to learn at this point is that whenever we express wishes, we're going to use where for all of the pronouns. It doesn't matter if we're talking about I, he, she, it, we, you, or they. For all and so that's basically what's um, here at the bottom, after which where is used with all pronouns. So if we think about the example, life is difficult, and we want to express a wish, then we can say, I wish, and the subject again, life, where, easier. Uh, and of course you can make that in a negative statement. I wish life weren't so difficult. But it's basically the same pattern that we're following. And the last example, my parents won't stop worrying about me. Well, what happens here is that I'm using a contraction there. So my parents won't stop worrying about me. In that particular case, I'm going to turn want or will not into would. So I wish, and in this case, subject my parents mm -hmm. would stop, and then whatever compliment, right? What kind of wishes do you have about your life? And as I mentioned at the beginning of class, we want to express personal wishes. We want to express family wishes. We want to express health wishes. We want to express professional wishes, if you will. So I'm just going to have a series of wishes here, right? So what kind of wishes do you have about your bedroom? So an easy example, I wish my bedroom were bigger. What kind of wishes do you have about your school or job? Well, I wish my job were easier. What kind of 
wishes do you have about your appearance, the way that you look? Well, I wish I were thinner. What kind of wishes do you have about your family? I wish I had two children, right? Okay, now you're going to think about deeply about it, okay? Because later you're going to share about what your wishes are, okay? Wishes about your bedroom, about your school or your job, about your appearance, about your family, about positions you have or about your skills, okay? So, but that will be later. Uh, Gladys, Gladys, do you have any question? Yes, I, I have any question. Um, I was wondering why uh, the word that follow a stop in the last sentence, I wish they would stop worrying. Why use ing at the end of the worry word? Okay, thank you very much. That's a good question, okay? Uh, well, it happens, uh, Glendy, Glenn, right? It happens that there are some verbs. There are, there are a group of verbs, for example. Just, just for you to have an idea about what it's all about. Like, give me one second, please. Okay. It happens that stop takes ing, okay? Stop takes uh, another verbal form because it's not a, it, it is not a verb, okay? What, what is the one that's over here? Give me one second, please. It's worrying, right? Worrying. In this case, worrying. Okay, stop. That, what about if we, instead of having uh, worrying, we have like drink? What would be? Drink. Uh, stop drink drinking uh, stop drinking. to drink or <laughs> stop drinking to stop drinking ah because it's because uh -huh, it's because it's it's a a, it is a verb verb that takes another verbal form in ing okay but what about what about if i have the verb want want for example I want worrying. Do you think that is the, the correct one? I want worrying or I want to worry. True. True. Ah, so what does it mean? True. What does it mean? That there are some verbs that take ing form and there are some others that take the infinitive. <laughs> But you know, there's a there's a, a big list that I can I would I would really like to look for because actually I don't have any. But I would I I think it would be really nice if you if you look for one of them, right? Verse that it's take ing. Yeah, it's because there are some others that take both. For example, love. I love, what. Cooking. Mm -hmm. You say cooking, that's really good. And also you can say, I love to cook. Okay, so it all depends on the verb. It, it, for example, the verb love takes both, infinitive or ing. But it all depends on the verb. Okay, Glendy? How can I get the list for learn more about this kind of uh, words? Mm, I will try to get one for you, okay? I will try to get one for you and I will share it in the in the group, okay? Because that is a very topic. Okay. That's yeah, a, thank you. Yeah, but I, I will do it, but not right now. I, I will do it okay. meanwhile you are presenting your stories, okay? Okay. Okay, so uh, let me see. I think there is somebody else in the chat. I believe, okay, Rafael has problems with uh, internet connection. Okay, Rafael, I hope that you can solve the problem. Hey, and... Well, I will look for a list, okay, that can help you. But right now, we need to solve the exercise about wish. Okay. What kind of wishes do you have? No, yes. 
Okay, we, we're gonna finish with this and then you we're going to start uh with with the with the stories, okay? The knowledge okay. check. So in the knowledge check, oh let me see. What kind of wishes does give me give me one second, give me one second. Making ah yeah, it's a listening, okay? So over listen, here right. you are going to read and you are going to listen, but actually. I think we don't have the reading activity. I mean, the reading is not over here. So that we are going to listen to only, okay? Listen. We are going to listen to the following conversation and you will answer the questions, okay? Okay. Okay, I love to cook. No, I don't wanna talk about cooking. All right. Okay, so let us, let us listen to it. So the first question is, who can read the first question? What kind, of, what kind of wishes does Terry have? Okay, keep it in mind. Number two. What kind of wishes does Brian have? What kind of wishes does Brian have? Number three. Regret the following sentence using time. Okay, number four. No more. Ah, regret the following, following sentence the youth in wish. Then can fit wish. into Dan can fit what that means fit into his old jeans. Fit uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. hmm? actually uh, I don't know jeans. I don't know like sus pantalones jeans Dan can fit. fit. Ah. That is fit. Okay. No, no encajan, okay. Okay, now <laughs> let's see. Listen, please. Listen, please. Carefully. We're going to solve it and then we're going to start talking about the, the stories you created, okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. Changes. Part A. Listen and practice. So, are you still living with your parents, Terry? I'm afraid so. I wish I had my own apartment. Why? Don't you like living at home? It's okay, but my parents are always asking me to be home before midnight. I wish they'd stop worrying about me. Yeah, parents are like that. And they expect me to help around the house. I hate housework. I wish life weren't so difficult. So why don't you move out? Hey, I wish I could, but where else can I get free room and board? Mm -hmm. I think that's everything, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay, so yeah, let's see. What kind of wishes does Terry have? Second one. Yeah, what is second one all about? He wished to have a he wished to have his own apartment. His own apartment on that slice was What's so, so difficult. What about number two? What kind of wishes does Brian have? He wish he had a job. He wishes. He wishes. He wishes. Hey, remember, this is wish. present, right? Wishes. He wishes he had a job. He had a job. Uh, how, what would be the way to rewrite the, the statement, and Laura yeah. doesn't have any free time? Laura washes, wishes. Huh. She could, she could, she, she had some free time, the first one. Uh, Laura wishes she had some free time. First one. Um, yeah, how would you rewrite the sentence, Dan can fit into his old jeans? Uh, wishes she had the first one, Dan Last one. she can all so people say the second. first one, some more say the last one, some more the say second the second one. one. The second one. Okay, so get, get into an agreement, okay? It's second not a, it's, it is not a lottery. <laughs> <laughs> the then, second one. So the first, second, second one, or the third one. one? The first one. The second, second one. one. Let's see if you if you won the lottery. Let us see if you won the lottery. <laughs> Okay, the first one, 
that wishes he could say to his soul. Oh, no, that, that's number four, right? So it's number one, he wishes he has his own apartment and that life wasn't so difficult. Okay. Uh, actually, over here, the, the person could have said, he wishes he has his he own apartment and apartment. Yeah. that life wasn't so difficult. It could be also, right? Because we're we talking about, yeah. Wearing. Yeah, I mean, both were okay, both are okay. But let us let us stay the way it is over here. Number two, what kind of wishes does Brian have? He wishes he worked. Ah, pronunciation about simple past of Words. the verse. Remember, Words. right? How do you pronounce Words. this verb? Which at Words. the end. Words. Words. No, Words. no, uh, uh, Words. no. Words. no. Words. It's similar like that. that T in the end. Work it. Work. 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 Like how we work. T at the end, teacher. Okay, now let me see. Let's see. We're at, oh my goodness, time is running. So let me say this. Miren, el que tenga dudas, cómo se pronuncian los verbos regulares en pasado, vayan y hagan una pequeña presentación. Necesito que manejen esto, porque si no, la pronunciación va a estar ahí, van a estar wandering around. De qué, cuál es. Son tres pronunciaciones. Usted tiene que saber cuál es la de cada verbo. Acá suena como T. He wishes he worked somewhere else. Work. And how do you pronounce this one? Lived. 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 Como Lived. una de lived. Somewhere more Lived. exciting. Number more three. Exciting. Laura wishes she had some free time. And the last one, then wishes he could fit into his old jeans. Good. That was fantastic. That were fantastic people. Okay, so let us start with the stories. We have, we have 5, 10, 15, 15 minutes to, to, to start working on that. And if we don't have enough time tomorrow, we're going to continue with it. But I, I, want, I would really like to listen to everybody in the class. Okay, so, yeah, everyone. So uh, volunteers. Daniel is a volunteer, right? So he has a, I think, Daniel, do you want to share your story, please? Hey, okay, I want to share. I wish you could share your story, Daniel. Yeah, <laughs> I'm trying to keep your attention with this, uh, with the and, dog. And after Daniel, Vicente, okay? Okay. Vicente, get ready. Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay. Uh, hey, Daniel, yeah. as far as I remember, so, you, you are in church of talking about a ghost town. Why? Elisa want to participate too. Also, Elisa, uh, Elizabeth. Yeah. Okay, Elizabeth will be the yeah. participant. Okay. Pr thank you, Elizabeth. <laughs> hey, Daniel. Yes, sir. Okay. You said, hey, tomorrow we'll talk about about a ghost town. Usted fue el que dijo que que nos iba a hablar de una ciudad fantasma, verdad? No, no, no. I, no, me. I told. Me I, I, yeah, uh, said, uh, oh, said that's, that. that was Vicente. Okay, so Daniel, go yeah. ahead. Okay, uh, can I share the... Go ahead. The... <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay, let me... We, we need to see. <laughs> okay, can you see that? No, it's... Uh, yeah, we can. Yes. The legend of fire. Okay, and the this is a little presentation about... This is the legend of the fairy in, a, in the wizard. Okay, this is story. This is a story of a wizard who lived in the forest that couldn't find the love, and it wasn't enough for him. Okay, so he felt very lonely, and the moon was the only friend. The darkness was just as big as the forest in his life. One afternoon in the forest, he crossed with a look so sweet that in all his life, he never knew. Look, he, he make a click. For that moment, the fairy in the wizard wanted to be in the forest, 
loving each other always in everywhere because there are too many love between them. But the evil came with too many envy and he put the fairy to sleep in a dream. She don't have enough peace. In his castle, the wizard, he spent looking for the way with spells, look like this, spells, like chemical things. And he asked himself, how cool to recover the woman he loved in through the forest? What is the woman, the fairy? To say together for eternity like it used to be. Yeah. And that's it. <laughs> Thank you for the time. <laughs> oh, okay. Hey, Daniel. You say people in the Get chat. Song. Rafael you will sing. says that's a song. Is that a song, uh, Daniel? It's a song. Yeah, it's a rock song. <laughs> <laughs> Great I was talking with him and he told me I will sing I will sing I hey, don't hear nothing people let, let us let us remember uh let us try to help uh Daniel with this word how do you pronounce that word people look at the chat please enough 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 enough, enough. 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 very good enough. Thank you very yeah. much. Thank you. Hey, uh, well, Vicente, go ahead. I think Vicente is the second person, right? Richard, yes, sir. After only, Vicente, uh, tell me, Daniel. Only one thing. I try to use the old topic with a, when I see in class. I could I could notice about it. Okay. And congrats. Congratulations. Okay, Vicente, it's your turn. Okay, teacher. Um, this is a real history about a uh, ghost city. But how I can share uh, a picture? Uh, I don't know how, I, I have it in my cell phone, but I don't Ooh. know how I can share it. it well, you, you should look for a part that says sharing your, your screen. Uh, maybe in the, in the group of, I don't know. Uh, you, can, you can send the, the, the image in the group. That's right, that's a good idea. So it's only can... one picture. Yeah, okay, share it in a group, please. I send it, but I don't know if... Yeah, I got it, Vicente. Yes, okay. we have a lot this of... This is a real there. history. Okay. I got it. Okay. This is a history of a uh, gas city that is located in the east of China. Its name is Ordos Kangbashi. This city was built in the east of China. It has a uh, big roads, roads, and beautiful buildings. It has uh, malls, cities, uh, uh, movies, hotels, parks. <clears throat> but nobody, nobody lived there. Um, China, you know, is used to build cities or other kind of construction in record time. This city built in about five years. The city has about 90 miles. It was built for a million people, but for the first, for the first five years, the city don't have more than 30,000 habitants. And um, some of the people that live in the city come back to original uh, places that they were living. Because the, the city, uh, is located in a place where, um, I don't know how we can say, uh, minerias are. And uh, when that uh, business goes down, all the people uh, come back 
to other places. So this is a, a real history. <laughs> excellent, Vicente, excellent. Okay, Vicente, take a look at the chat, please. Everybody, take a look at the chat. Now, how do you pronounce the past of the verb build? Field. Yeah. Um, okay. How do you pronounce the simple past form of the verb live? Lived. 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 I'm exaggerating, lived. right? Lived. Mm -hmm. And how, lived. what's the best way to say the city don't have or the city doesn't have? The doesn't city doesn't have. have. All right. Very good. So the city doesn't have. Now, the, doesn't now, have. We, congrats, Vicente. That was fantastic. Thank you, Peter. Thank you. Now, now we have there Elizabeth. Are, there, uh, there is a video of the of that city if, if the, you want to, to watch. Okay, pretty good. So good idea if you want to share it. If it has English information, that will be fantastic. Okay. <laughs> now we have... Tell me, Mary, Mary, Mary is the one talking now, right? But, but he had to, to sing that song, Host Town. <laughs> hey, Vicente, now get ready with the, with the song. It, it's a ghost town. Yes. <laughs> okay, Elizabeth, Elizabeth is in church now. After Elizabeth, we're going to have Rafael. Okay, Rafa? Okay. Okay, so Elizabeth, go ahead. Elizabeth, es nuestro turno. Ah, you worked in Perth. Good. Sorry, I'm not listening. <laughs> okay. Okay, don't worry. Uh, are you ready? Yeah. Well, was upon a time, uh, uh, Zeus, the god of the gods, uh, fell in love with a human. Her name was uh, Sally Jackson. Well, the fruit of his great love uh, was uh, this boy that you can see in the screen. It was Peter, Jack Peter Percy Jackson. Um, this boy who, who everybody in the town in the place where he was living thought that he was like a a fool, dumb, uh, the many people call like a retired because uh, they was like a shy. So, but the one day when Peter, when Peter had 12 years old, uh, this boy discovered that he was a semi-god. And when a minotaur attacked his life on the way home, he along with Annabeth and help bread and uh, grow, grower and citry. This, uh, like a monster, was half god and half human. Fouls again the Minotaurs and a child, a uh, rich camp, half blood. Okay. Listen to me? Yeah. Okay. Can't help love was a play that housed the gods, song of the Greek god, Zeus, Poseidon, Hades, Aphrodite, Dysus, Dionysus, amongst other, and they and they had and they had archery classes, swore fire in other activities for the development of the boys. Until one day, lightning ball was stoned. Annabelle, Percy, and Grover. Sorry. Begin the adventure. Annabelle, Perry, Jackson, and Grover began the adventure. Adventure to find lightning and despite the difficult circumstance that lay ahead, they managed to find him and uncall the run of the god Zeus. And the sons, the great, the great uh, sons, it's um, 
semi-gods uh, have um, her animal and the other is human. That's it, teacher. Fantastic, pretty good. Thank you. Thanks for doing your best day for. Okay, Elizabeth and Brandy. And now uh, we're gonna listen to Rafael, right? And then I will check the list of tenants, people, because you know, la the hour is almost gone. Okay. Okay, Rafael. Uh, you didn't hear nothing wrong in our presentation? Give me one second, please. Why me? Now, yes, okay. Okay, Rafael, go ahead. Okay. Um, what I'm going to tell you is about a tourist site uh, called the Haunted Mansion in Anaheim, California. Disneyland is the happiest place in the world. Although happy is not the description more proper, what true is Haunted Mansion. The Southern Style Mansion is located in Anaheim, Chain Park, California, 40 miles southeast of Los Angeles, and on some ghosts and objects floating around the air. Ghostly voices, voices guide the candlelit visitors uh, through the lobby, towards long corridors, dark stairs and huge ballroom where ghosts they are partying. If you want to enjoy a terrifying experience, visit the haunting mansion. That's it. Oh, pretty nice. Excellent, Rafael. Excellent. Hey, clap for everybody. I mean, everybody did a great day for tonight. I know there are more stories, okay? And, and I know that, well, uh, the majority of you or all of you want to participate tomorrow. I think we we're going time. to have, we, we have like, like 10 minutes and you know, I need to check the list of tenders and if we, if we still have a, like five minutes more, I will give the opportunity to somebody else. Okay. 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 Now help me with the list of tenders, please. Oh, all right. So Anna Ivania. Ana Ivania. Present. Ana Jansi. Ana Jansi. Is Ana Jansi here? Uh, Angel Alejandro. Present teacher. Brandy. I'm here, present. Cecilia Jamilet. Cecilia. Cristina del Carmen. Cristina. Cristina is not here. It's not here. Thanks. Uh, Daniel. I'm here, teacher. Diana Stephanie. Present. Elena Noemi. I'm here, teacher. Evelyn Susana. Aquí, presente. <laughs> Fernando Alberto. Present teacher. Gladys Mavi. Present teacher. Iris Concepción. Present teacher. Jessica Alejandra. Jessica. I can see Jessica. Jessica, okay. Carla Selena. Present teacher. Kevin Alexander. Mm, no. It's not in the class. Eh, Maria del Carmen. Here am I. Yeah. Okay, Maria is there, right? Yes. Yes. Oscar Alejandro. Here, teacher. Okay, Rafael Cruz. I'm here, teacher. Rafael Ernesto. I'm here, teacher. Ruth Elizabeth. Present, teacher. Sandra Noemi. Yeah, she is here. She's here, right? Uh, yeah. Vicente Israel. Hey, teacher. Uh, Janira, Janira Elizabeth. I'm here. 
Okay, just just to be sure, right? About people who uh, who's who miss classes today. Ana Jansi, si me equivocado, me dicen porfa para corregir. Ana Jansi, las personas que no no estuvieron en clase. Uh, Cecilia Yamilet, Cristina del Carmen, Jessica Alejandra, Kevin Alexander. And only those people, okay? Okay, so let's try to finish with the decision, okay? But I, we still have time, right? So for- I told you, we have time. Yeah, we have time, like, like oh seven minutes more, right? And then we say good, goodbye, right? Uh, who wants, let me see, there's one. Who wants to share the story with the group? Raise your hand. Okay, Gladys, Gladys wants. Okay, Gladys, go ahead. Okay, it's not perfect, but I try. Go no ahead. problem. But, but, but it, Gladys, it, the story may be not perfect, but your effort is a perfect effort. Right, that right. Yes. Mm -hmm. right. Okay. Yeah, yes. okay, I will share the presentation because uh, you should you, see the more clear what about I'm talking about. Okay, good. Okay, okay. As you can see, it's uh, a pala. What? Do you it's hear me? Yes, yeah, we, we can see it. We can hear you. Go ahead. Okay. It's not palas, but <laughs> it, this is the world's most expensive house in America, mm. which is located in Los Angeles. This house has 360 degrees of view around. Oh my. And you can see the Pacific Ocean, the LA city, and all around. And this house has enormous space for a large family and their guests. Um, it's considered as the biggest house in America and also is the most expensive house in America. Um, because uh, this house has uh, 500, 105,000 square foot inside of large enough space uh, to play everything that you want. And there are 21 bedrooms. There are 42 bedrooms. Incredible. There are five swimming pools, five. floor, ceiling windows, and besides, there is a private cinema, a wellness center, a cigar loan, and do you know what? Mm -hmm. Tell us. There are 30 parking spaces. There mm -hmm. are six elevators, and wow. for a walk, it's a surprise. You can participate. There is something that all any woman loves. Can what? you get anything? A space no. of plastic shoes. <laughs> what? In the first, in the first picture, we can see a large swimming pool, like a river. Yeah. Yeah. Five. Like a river. How many closes? Closes, but something else that the woman loves. Wow, wow, wow. There is a beauty salon. With no way. <laughs> oh, my God. Beautiful. It was right. I couldn't imagine. That's perfect. Yes. I can live in more. There is, Women there could is be more. happy there. Yeah. <laughs> For a gentleman, can you tell me any okay. idea about a place that the man loves? to stay on weekends or Friday night? Swimming pool, my no. favorite. 
Tu me pulls too. That we are. Yeah. What? Play pool. Play what about pool. you, teacher? What's your favorite place in this house? No, you know. Ah, I, the, the I was rolling. You, you know, I was thinking about. She mentioned that that the house has like thirty parking spaces. Oh. Thirty parking spaces. And, and I and you know what? And, and you mm -hmm. know what? I only have a, one motorcycle. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> and there you, you are playing games. In your better you word, could be in, your... a, in a in a in a quick game. You can uh, bowl. Mm -hmm. There are four lines of bowling, and there is one more that um, a man loves. That is a night club. <laughs> Night glue. No. Oh my. Night glue. Oh my God. <laughs> Nobody knows what's the mini night glue so continuous. Ah, the and movie is my favorite too. There the is movie a is my favorite cinema. and also the swimming pool. Yeah. yeah. And there is a cinema, as you can see in the picture. Mm, that's very nice. So, I like my child yeah. here. <laughs> The luxury residence was expected to come for market. Ina, can you tell me an amount that you can guess about the uh, value of this house? Um, Fifty millions. You calculate. <laughs> because the first market uh, price was a half, a half million dollars. Uh, <laughs> wow. Oh. Five hundred million dollars, yes. And this is the kind of uh, house that you can buy when you got more money that you know what to do with. <laughs> Unfortunately, the owner of this house was embroiled in a legal me. battle between landers for 10 years ago and suffered delays and complications. And he has to borrow $82.5 million to continue building this house. Um, but uh, forcing the home uh, for selling and the bids open in a week for anticipated auction. Who can participate to buy the house? <laughs> This week hey. is gonna buy a piece of lottery. <laughs> Glad it, that, it has a hefty price cut, but it's still a night catering cost around two hundred ninety-five million dollars. Two hundred ninety-five. Excellent info, people. Yeah. Congrats, Glenn. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. Hey, you know, you I, I will try to what? finish. Yeah, I will try to finish. Okay. Oh, teacher, we have time. No, 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 no. <laughs> Not right now. I'm sorry. Right now we don't have any any more time. Hey, you know, tomorrow, mañana ya saben que vamos con el repaso del midterm. Estén listos porque no nos vamos a dedicar solamente a resolverlo, sino que vamos a ver qué otros ejercicios hacemos con el con la misma evaluación. Be ready okay. and let us see you tomorrow. God bless you. Okay, see you tomorrow. Okay, Have good, a good night. night. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Night, good, good night. Good night. Good tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night, good night everyone. Good night. good night, Brandy. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night, Vicente, Maria. Good night, Daniel. Good night, Brandy. Good night, everybody. Good night, Daniel. Bye.